There's some type of family you come out from. If you die, you will not rest in peace. Let me explain. So since 12 of September 2023 that Mubarak died, apart from the circumstances surrounding his death, a lot of issues have been happening in his family, from his mother to his father and to his wife. Let me break it down. So a few months ago, Mubarak's mother said Mubarak's father might not be the father. In fact, he needs DNA. Another one, he said Mubarak's father buried Mubarak alive. That's from the mother's side. Now, from the father's side, the father is requesting that Mubad's wife do a DNA test to confirm that his grandson actually belongs to his son. But Mubad's wife is not taking it at all. She's refusing to do the DNA test. In fact, she's saying that Mubad's father needs to bring a court order to make her do the DNA test. Please tell Baba to bring court order for a DNA to be done. He's not getting the court order because he's happy that my son is getting bashed daily. This is my advice to Wumi. If I'm you, I will do the DNA test. In fact, I will raise social media awareness. If you don't have the money, people will actually raise the money for you to do the DNA test. I will even ask the hospital to make it public, to publicize the result. That is if you have nothing to hide. That is woman. Let's continue. So my bad father has been asking for that. Now, that is for DNA test. Recent development is happening that my bad father is actually inheriting Mobad's property, especially from the clothes. So my bad father has started wearing Mobad's clothes uh it's my son i can wear his clothes because we're in the same size and anybody that have that kind of a son and he cannot share with that means doesn't that person doesn't love his son my son i wear his clothes so whoever yeah. want to say anything they should say whatever they like this is bad this is really really bad now as a prophet of this video i pray for you watching this video that you will never inherit your children's clothes you will never inherit your children's property. In fact, your children will inherit your property. That is my prayer for you. Let's continue. So Mubad Farah is saying that that DNA test is what is delaying Mubad from being buried. Remember, Mubad's body was assumed after he was horribly buried. So his body was assumed for autopsy. The autopsy result is not yet out. Mubad's dead body is still lying in the morgue. So Mubad Farah is saying because of the DNA test, he wants to confirm that his son actually have a son. So that's why they have not buried Mobad. Let the guy rest in peace. That is all he need at this point in time. So Nigerians, what do you think? To me, I think Mobad had irresponsible family. I don't want to mention any particular name. He has irresponsible family. But who am I to decide? You guys to tell me. What do you think about Mobad family? But before you think. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you.